Since you go, phew. Nearly comfy. One more inch. <laughs> ah! <laughs> What's that noise, go? I hope it's not a ghosty. <gasps> <laughs> What's going on? Where's Muck? He just went off somewhere. I'm not surprised. I think you might have scared him. What do you mean? That cement dust makes you look like a ghost. And he thought you were scary enough already. Oh, dear. We'd better go and find him. <laughs> there he is. The garage. Oh. oh no, what have I done? Ooh. Look, it's okay. It's just me and Philip. I thought Philip was a ghosty. <sighs> what are you all doing in. Oh no, the jacks! They're all dented and broken! It's all my fault. No, I'm the one to blame. I took Muck's shed and made him sleep outside. Then I scared him into the workshop. I'm sorry, Muck. I've been a terrible guest, and I've been very rude to you. That's okay. It's going to take time to get new cylinders. How are we going to finish your garage before you bring Mayor Snipe to the town hall? If only you drove as slowly as me. It'd take you ages to get there. Muck, you've just given me a wonderful idea. There we go, Philip. All clean and ready to go. Thank you, Bob. Does everyone know what they're doing in Philip's Go Slow plan? Yes! Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Guess what? Wendy says it's going to be Bob's birthday soon. Oh, wow! We can have a party! Yay! Yes, and she's getting him a present. It's a surprise. Oh, I wonder what it'll be. I don't know. Wendy, Wendy, what's the surprise? Shh, Buck. Well, what's the surprise job today? <laughs> no surprises today, Scoop. It's a big day, though. Is that because we have to finish putting in all the steel supports for the skyscraper, Bob? That's right, Leo. Just like this. We're finishing this part today. These supports hold up the rest of the building. And then after that, we'll be able to build on upwards. Whoa! That is awesome! Yes, it'll be the tallest building we've ever built. Now, Lofty, You'll help me, Wendy, and Leo. Got it, Bob. Not forgetting Tiny, of course. Hi there, Tiny. Ready for some tower power? Morning, Bob, everyone. Oh, yes, tower power at the ready. Excellent. Scoop and Muck, you'll dig the trenches for the pipes to bring water to the skyscraper. Will do, Bob. Yes, Bob. So, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. I know what Wendy's surprise present to Bob will be. Oh, really? Then what? It'll be... A new motorbike! Oh, yes! Bob would love that! Back in a mo! Or maybe it'll be a new saxophone. Hi there, Scoop. Oh, 
Hello, Roland. Wendy asked me to deliver this. Why, what is it? I think it's something for Bob. Something for Bob? <gasps> oh, wow! OK, pop it in here, Roland. I'll make sure Wendy gets it safely. Excellent. Thanks, Scoop. Say hi there for me. Will do, Roland. Bye. 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 What's happening? Look at this. Look. Roland just brought it. It's something Wendy ordered. And Roland thinks it's for Bob. Hadn't you better give it to him then? No, don't you see? Wendy ordered it and it's for Bob. So it must be her surprise present for him. Ooh. Everything's looking good, Anish. This is very exciting, Bob. There's plenty of space to show off my precious artifacts. Load. Right out. Oh, it's almost finished. Surely there must be somewhere I can put this. Oh, just one more gap. Um, oh, it. Uh, Go. Now that is a perfect pyramid. That's odd. Someone's covered the entrance. Uh oh. <gasps> We're trapped. Oh. Oh, that's not right. What's wrong, Tiny? Well, there should be two stones left. I need to fill that gap up there with one more regular stone, then this capstone goes on top. Oh. So where's the other stone? Are you sure you brought the right amount, Tutan? I never miscount. Counting is my thing. Reminds me of the time I was counting camels in the Sahara Desert. Though camels tend to wander off, stones don't wander off. Bob might know where the stone is, but where is Bob? And where's Wendy? And Anish. <laughs> you know, in ancient times, people were often sealed inside pyramids forever, <sighs> with only mummies for company. Uh, thanks, Anish. Any idea how we get out, though? I'll try Leo. Oh, my phone's not working. The walls must be too thick. They're blocking the signal. Then we'll have to try something else. Well, they're not in there. Of course. They all went inside the pyramid. I'll go get them. Um, uh, uh. Oh, I've gone all the way around, but I can't see the entrance anywhere. It has to be there. It couldn't just vanish. No, but it... Morning, Bob. Morning, Wendy. I'm awake and ready to build. Actually, there's no job to do until this afternoon. Oh. What? Oh, oh, what happened? Looks like this bracket has rusted away. I guess we've been so busy building around Spring City and fix them that we've forgotten to look after the yard for a while. That's true. We should take a look around and make a list of anything else that needs fixing. We'll do it. I'm on it. Oh, look, Bob. The wind turbine isn't turning, so it won't be making any electricity for the yard. Look, look! There's a hole in that roof. That's bad. Oh, I can make it. Careful, Scoop. Ouch! Almost there. Ow! Maybe I can wriggle under. What's the problem, Scoop? Uh, my door won't open all the way. Maybe I can help. There you go. Ah, oh, thanks, Shifter. That's another thing to fix, then. Scoop's garage door. Bob! Wendy! There's a crack in the kitchen window! Huh? Oh, no. So there is. I didn't even notice that. Well spotted, Dizzy. <gasps> oh, look! Hilchard wants to come out! <laughs> huh? <laughs> 
Whoa! I'll add oiling the kitchen door to the list too. That's quite a lot of jobs to do. Well, we've got this morning free. We can get everything in order if we all work together. Yes, and we'll need to move all of these pallets and things out of the way too. I was getting around to clearing them, Bob. It's okay, Shifter. We've all been busy. Put them in the backyard, then Tutan can take them away. So, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! At last, some building action right here in the yard. I love working with the whole team, Dizzy. Me too! <laughs> Thanks, Scoop, but I haven't filmed Muck yet. Aww. You want to film me? Are you sure? Just tell the camera how you clear away dirt. Oh. Uh, I, uh, 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 I... Don't worry, Muck. I've got this. As you can see, breaking up the ground makes a lot of mess. So we have to clean up after ourselves. Scoop, you're going to hit the... Oops! Uh. Intercom unit. Uh-oh. Oh, oh don't, don't, don't worry. It's, it's just a little bump. It, it'll be fine. Oh, oh no. Uh. Oh. Ooh, uh, I'm clearing uh, dirt. <laughs> and I'm pouring cement. Then we'll put large stones on top of them to make the new curve. Oh, but I'm the one with the talent and good looks. There. The intercom is ready. Great. And now it's time for a milkshake. You're not going to make another one. Don't worry, Wendy. This time I'm going to make a simple strawberry milkshake. What could go wrong? Oh, oh, uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to put the lid on. Hmm. Oh, it's almost time for the opening. How am I ever going to be the star of Leo's film? Hi, Scoop. Hey, Hi, Scoop. Scoop. The Spring City Rockets are ready to be the first drive through customers. So, where do we go? This way, Betsy. I'll show you. <gasps> That's it. Hey, Leo. Betsy and the Rockets are here. Why don't I lead them through the drive through for your film? Oh, that's a great idea. This is going to be the grand finale, so let's make it the best bit. Okay, get ready, everyone. The drive through is opening. And action! Welcome to the new milkshake bar drive through First stop, the menu. What can we order? Cool! Uh-oh! Scoop, you're blocking the way. Everything okay? Uh, of course, uh, everything's fine, because, because Chef Tati will now ask for your order. Whoa! Oh, watch out! Shorten the hoist line. Oh. Oh, I can't control it, Bob. Ah! Oh. Oh, no. I can't hold it. Here comes Summer Scoop. Oh. Ow. Yay! Yay! Well done, Scoop. That was your big moment. Well done. My camera drone. Oh, no! Did you get any of that? Oh, no. I am so sorry. I ruined everything. Don't worry, Lofty. 
We can get a replacement panel for the fence from the yard. And this section of the gateway is cracked just here. We'll need to replace it. Okay, Scoop and I can pick up a new one of those, too. My drone is broken, but the camera's okay, thank goodness. Hooray! The camera still works! Why did you lift with such a long hoist in this wind, Lofty? I was trying to get away from the drone. I don't like being filmed. I'm just a bit shy, I suppose. I'm sorry, Lofty. I'll keep you out of shot from now on. And Bob, I won't need you to do any more talking. Really? I'm afraid so. You're, um, not really a natural on camera. <laughs> That's a relief. What? The truth is, Lofty, I don't like being on camera either. Especially talking on camera. Well, hey, I'm not the only one. So, who is going to be on camera explaining what's going on? Hey? Mm? Actually, Scoop, I think I know who'd make a great replacement. At last! <laughs> I'm ready for my big mo- Huh? What do you think, Wendy? Can I film you? Yes, yes you, you can! can. Mm. Yes, you can. Racecourse's new gateway all finished. And cut! I just have to place this log here. Oh, Lofty, you're taking ages! I know! I'll look for things that we need for our adventure. You can help when you're finished. Do you even know how to go camping? Yep! The Spring City Rockets showed me some outdoor skills. Bob can make us a campfire with these! See? I know everything about camping. There. A perfect pile of logs. <laughs> what was that? Scoop! Look at my logs! They're all over the place now. Oops. <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be helping Muck? Oh, yeah! Muck! He'll definitely want to come hiking and camping. I'll go ask him to... So, campers have to follow these trail signs, and then they won't get lost on their walk? That's right. So put the first trail sign at the start of the trail, here, and then put the rest along this path through the woods. Here, you better take the map to help you. You got all that, Leo? Yeah, I've got an amazing memory. I won't forget a single thing. <laughs> he forgot the map. Yeah. See? I remember everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the end. <laughs> oh, that's Taylor. Wanna come camping? We can collect wood for a campfire, explore the woods, go for a hike. Oh, wow! Uh, do you really know how to do all that? Of course I do! So come on, let's go! Uh... Right now! Oh, wait for me! First, we can look for animals. Ooh, animals! Where should I look? Hmm. Then later, I'll sing a camp song. Scoo, wait! I thought we were looking for animals! Huh? Muck? I said hi, I said hey, let's go camping for the day! <laughs> Scoo, are you sure you know how to go camping? That's the floorboards finished. The trail signs are finished too. Great! Time to finish the roof. Lofty? Are the logs ready? Yes, all ready, Bob. Scoop knocked the pile over and it's taken ages to build it back again. Oh! Oh, no! Stop there, Muck. That's enough to make it half full. And perfect! 
perfect. Oh, look! Where'd that crate come from? It's like in Bob's story. Yes, but Bob said it wasn't scary because Wendy had moved it. So has Wendy moved this crate then, Scoop? Uh, no. There's no one else here. So we're alone and the crate just got there all by itself? Quick, Scoop, do something brave. Get the crate out of here! Of course. Sure, yeah, yeah, I can do that. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. oh, look! Wendy is here! She must have moved the crate. You did move it, didn't you, Wendy? Please say you moved it. Please. Yes, I left it on the path whilst Lofty was finishing the entrance. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you all. Oh, you didn't scare Scoop. He's way too brave. Right, Scoop? Oh, th th that's right. I, I wasn't scared at all. Not one bit. Oh, so they're the pretend dinosaur bones to hide in the sand pit. Yes, and there are three more crates. Can one of you collect them whilst I check things here? Scoop will do it. Huh? Thanks, Scoop. Sure. I'll go. No problem. He is so brave. Really, really brave. I'm not scared. Tra la 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 la. I'm thinking happy thoughts about digging in places that aren't scary, like, like this one. OK, right. Just one long path to go. So I'm going to go. I'm going now. There's nothing scary here. There's nothing scary at all. Scoop? going to be Chef Patty's new restaurant. That's funny. It doesn't look much like a restaurant. It's just an old shipping container, Bob. That's right. It is, Scoop. But once we've finished building today, we'll have made it into Taddy's Meatball Shack. Along with three more shipping containers for Roland's Gift Shop, Tilly's Pet Supplies, and Sky Sports Shoe Store. All part of Spring City's pop-up shops. An outdoor shopping center that's going to pop up here just for the summer. Now, let's have a look at the plans drawn by the architect. An architect? What's that? An architect scoop is a person who uses their skills and imagination to make plans and Ooh. drawings for new buildings. Maybe I could be an architect. I've got a great imagination. Have a time, Bob. Sometimes too much. Ah, oh, thanks, Bob. Now, team, we've got a pop-up shopping center to build. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Hola! Ni hao! Konnichiwa! G'day! Hi, Hi Chef, Chef Daddy. Daddy! Is this going to be my new meatball shack? I love it already! Out of the way! Mm -hmm. Lofty architect coming through! You're not supposed to put those there, Scoop. They're for the garden. Over there, where Wendy marked it. 
I'm using my imagination. That's what an architect does. Look, Bob! Look, Bob! Huh? Do you love it? Uh, what is this? I call it Salute to Meatballs. Looks like a pile of rocks to me, Scoop. Oh, it's supposed to look like a big plate of meatballs? I'm sorry, Scoop, but this isn't what the architect has planned. Put them back with the other materials for now, please. Well, at least it's not on the beach. But the tide is coming in, which means it soon will be. Oh, no. I'm really sorry. If we have a messy beach, the visitors won't stay. And all my plans for carnivals, regattas, and fix some fun, fun, fun will be for nothing. This will be a disaster. I've got a bite. Yeah? I've got a bite. Oh. See? The disaster is happening already. Oh, I wish we could collect it all before it reaches the beach. If only... Yes! That's it, Lofty. That's exactly what we'll do. Huh? There's more than enough. Uh, did I suggest something clever? You did, Lofty. We can make floating booms out of your wood and use them to catch all the debris. Oh, that does sound clever. Oh, no. Ugh. Curtis, can you give us a hand to collect all that garbage? Yes, of course, Bob. Anything if it means I can catch fish instead of rotting boots. Excellent. Just one more thing. Hi, Bob. Hi, Wendy. There's a bit of an emergency down at the beach. Would you please bring us a long rope? OK, no problem. I'm on my way. Okay, Lofty, you and Curtis are going to sweep along the shore and collect all the garbage with the booms. Got it, Bob. Okay, Curtis, let's go. Whoa, what? Take it easy, Lofty. Yes, you need to coordinate with Curtis and work together. Righto, coordinate. Righto, Curtis, I'll stay here. You bring the boom round toward the beach. <laughs> Driftwood was good for something after all. Oh, are you okay, Lofty? <laughs> well, we've checked the rest of the building. The answer must be in Mayor Madison's office. Huh? huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. We found our ghosts, Wendy. They're bats. Lofty, Mr. Bentley, we've solved the mystery. It's bats. Where are they? Um, uh, over here. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's okay, Lofty. Look at the bats. Aren't they wonderful? Oh, yeah. They are amazing. But I wonder how bats got inside the town hall. Bats only come out at night, so they must have been sleeping somewhere inside during the day. They flew out of the fireplace, so maybe they were in the chimney. Yes, good thinking. We'll go up and check in the morning. You were right, Wendy. I found this hole yesterday and sealed it up. If that's how the bats were getting inside the chimney, they wouldn't be able to get out again afterwards. The bats were sleeping in the chimney. I accidentally blocked up their way out. So all you have to do is make another way out for them. It isn't that simple, Lofty. 
It's OK for bats to sleep there when it's summer, but they'd be hurt if anyone lit a fire when it's cold. Oh, no! You've got to find a way to keep the bats safe, Bob. Don't worry, Dizzy. We'll build the bats a new house and put it by the chimney where they used to sleep. I'm sure the bats will feel at home in their splendid new bat house. Now I need to work out how to tell the mayor about her new neighbors. <laughs> Good luck with that, Mr. Bentley. Oh, dear. I knew all along that the town hall wasn't really haunted. Of course you did, Lofty. Boo! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you don't like roller coasters, Bob. I've been on dozens. The Twisty Tornado, the Loopy Loop de Loop, the Sudden Drop. That sounds, uh, lots of fun. Look, the footprints go this way. Careful, Dizzy. Oh, you're not a baby at all. No, he's a huge dinosaur. Hey, guys. <gasps> what are you doing? Whoa, it's you, Scoop. Phew. I said, what are you doing? We're tracking a baby dinosaur. A baby dinosaur? Can I play? I could dig a little trap to catch it. <gasps> Perfect. Now, Lofty, you pretend you're the Dino Daddy and call for your baby. Will do. Moo. Uh. Hello, guys. What are you... Whoa! Oh, sorry, Professor Bose. Uh, that was meant to catch pretend a... Pretend dinosaur. Uh, we're tracking a pretend dinosaur. Well, if you like dinosaurs, you're going to love the new exhibit. Oh. Here's a hint. It has something to do with a Gigantosaurus, one of the biggest dinosaurs to walk the Earth. Bye. Bye, Professor. Oh, no. This means that egg belonged to... Uh, hang on. What egg? A Gigantosaurus. <gasps> when that baby dinosaur grows up, it'll be as Big as a building! I said, what egg? We gotta find that baby. Hey! I thought we were playing a game! What egg? There. This motor will work the chain that pulls the cars to the top of the first climb. Perfect. Then it's time for a test run. Who'd like a turn? Yes! Bob, pick me! Pick me! Ah, uh, Leo. All right! Be my guest. Yes! Let's go, Wendy. Fast as possible, please. Three, two, one, blast off! Woohoo! Uh, two ton, where's the important bit? The one shaped like a big bowl. Don't worry. I'm going to get it in a moment, Lofty. Oh, I can't wait. Lofty. May, May, what will we see and hear from the radio telescope? Well, Scoob, usually it finds signals from very far away in space. But tonight, I'm going to receive a special signal from my twin sister, Lynn. Lynn Moon is an astronaut. Wow! That is amazing. And today's our birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Thank you. Lynn's on board the World Space Station. Circling high above the Earth, Mission Control has told Lean I'll be trying to make contact so we can wish each other a happy birthday. May, do you think 
I could speak to Lynn. I'd love to speak to an astronaut. Of course, Lofty. No problem at all. <gasps> this is literally the greatest day of my life. Okay, team. Let's get going. Yay! So May's sister is in a space station somewhere up there. I can't wait. I've got so many questions to ask her. Like, has she met any space alien robots? Oh, oops. Careful, Scoop. Sorry. The radio telescope is very delicate, guys. It can be easily damaged. So please take extra care around it. Okay, yes, Bob. Wendy. So, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. We do see dancing giant space alien robots, Lofty. They might even visit us. What? Come here? All the way from outer space? That is awesome! Okay, oh. let's start assembling the telescope. Pass me the first panel, please, Lofty. Will do! Slowly, gently. It looks wonderful. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thanks, Effie. And thank you, Bob. Just the fireworks to set and the sound system to wire up, Anish. We'll check that it's all working as soon as Mayor Madison arrives. Hmm. I wonder where she is. Hello, Curtis. Mr. Bentley here. We have a problem. Philip has run out of fuel. Could you bring some more right away, please? Of course, Mr. Bentley. But if his tanks run dry, his engine could be damaged. I'll need to tow him back to the garage to check him over. Tow him? Oh, the embarrassment. Oh, yes. That is a problem, Mr. Bentley. Philip's broken down so the mayor can't get here. <gasps> Don't worry, Anish. Betsy, could you possibly go and collect them, please? Oh, of course, Bob. I'm always happy to help. Betsy, it's very good of you to come for the mayor and Mr. Bentley. Don't worry, Philip. I know how important they are. Only as important as Safi and Anish. Never mind that now, Philip. I just want to get to the castle before I miss the book launch altogether. Don't worry, ma'am. Bob's still setting up. You'll be on time. Bye. Bye now. Oh. Thank you, Curtis. Oh, dear. I was rather looking forward to hearing the mayor's speech. You mean this speech that she's left behind? Oh, no, not again. And there's no way to get it to her in time. Ah, I know. Could you ring Wendy and put your phone on speaker so that I can talk to her? I've lost my speech. Don't worry, I know. Just put in this earpiece that I've connected to my mobile phone and you'll be able to hear Philip through it. Philip? Just repeat what he says as naturally as you can. But what do you mean I, I don't understand? Trust me, Mayor, you'll be fine. Uh, hi, everyone. Oh, Bob, 
Everything will be finished before we reopen this afternoon, won't it? Yes, don't worry. Leo and the machines will build the bear's new climbing frame while I repaint the washroom and fix the plumbing. Oh, and could you take a look at the sign over the penguin enclosure too? It looks a bit wobbly. Of course, let's do that now. It's your build, Leo. You call it. Thanks, Bob. Well, team, can we build it? Yes, we can! Disaster, ah. Bob! I just tried to make a cup of tea, but there's no water. <laughs> I know. I switched it off so I can do the plumbing. Oh, yes! <laughs> Silly me! I don't suppose... Yes, I'll switch it back on so you can make some tea. Hilchard? What's she doing here? She wanted to come to work with me. She really shouldn't be here, Scoop. But I've trained her well, like Steffi trained her dog Rex. She'll behave herself. I know she will. You won't tell Bob, will you, Leo? Lofty? Okay, then. I suppose not. But you have to look after her at all times, Scoop. I will. Promise. Go on, Pilchard. You stay away from the build so you're safe. See? She does everything I say. Hmm. How's it going? Ah! Hello, Bob. <laughs> you okay, Scoop? Oh, uh... Oh, uh, yes, Bob. Fine, thanks. No problems. Right. Oh, yes, this is all looking great. Huh, thanks, Bob. I'll get on with the painting then. Call me if you need anything. Of course, right away. Pilchard. Oh, there you are, girl. <gasps> Was Pilchard in that pile of wood? Oh, Scoop. She could have been hurt if Lofty had picked up one of those posts without knowing. I only took my eye off her for a second and she wandered off. She shouldn't be here at all, Scoop. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 whoa! Uh, man overboard! <laughs> what were you doing up there? Mr. Bentley wanted me to fly a flag from the mast. I see. You're a bundle of ideas today, aren't you, Captain Bentley? Just doing my job, Bob. Glad my expertise can be of help. Perhaps we could use your, um, expertise to check the weather forecast for the sea trial. Splendid idea. Where can I find the ship's barometer? We don't have one. Perhaps you could use my tablet to search the internet. Oh, not exactly what Horatio Fixum would have used, but I suppose it will have to do. Okay, Leo. We'll fix the crow's nest later. Come and help me attach the rudder. Oh, oh dear. Not good at all. There's a strong westerly wind on the way and the tide's going out. We need to make sure the ship is tied safely to the dock. Uh, Bob! In a minute, Captain Bentley. Never mind. This is a job for the captain. I shall retie the ropes myself, just to be sure. Over, under, pull it tight. Make a bow, and it's tied right. There, all secured. Uh, ready for the sea trials, Bob? Not yet, Captain Bentley. Ah, uh, I do wish they'd hurry up. I can't wait to get out on the open sea. Huh? What 
What's happening? No. Oh, that's not good. Whoa. <gasps> the ship and Captain Bentley. I haven't connected the engine yet. He's going to drift out to sea. Back up, Lofty. Quick as you can. Yes, Bob. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Off we go, Lofty. Follow that ship. Mr. Bentley, drop the anchor. I, I don't know how. I'll stop it, Bob. <sighs> oh, missed. I can't reach. What? I can't reach. What? Oh, double dear. We're heading for the open sea. What do we do, Gull? Oh, no. Bob, quick, get in. I can catch her up. It's time to find your sea legs. Jump in, Landlubber. There, all done. <sighs> Here comes Dash Lightning, fighting for peace, justice, and... Wendy. <gasps> oh, sorry, Leo. I, I didn't see you coming. I was just reading the, um, the, um, instructions for the speakers. Huh? <laughs> Fascinating stuff. <clears throat> okay. Have you seen the other can of paint? Uh, the other can's over there. Huh, thanks. Ah, there it is. See you later. Ah. Oh. <laughs> dum de dum dum dum. The watchful superhero patrols. Bus the... off! Go away! Aha! A citizen in distress. <laughs> You've been saved by. Oh. oh! Oops! Sorry, Chef Tutty. Gonna fly faster than a speeding tractor. Oh! 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 oh. Lady Tibbles, come down this instant, young lady. Another rescue? This is my lucky day! Never fear! Super Scoop is here! <laughs> whoop, pow, whoop, whoop. You've been saved! Whoops, uh, I'll try again. Thanks, Scoop, but that won't be necessary. I'll go and get a ladder. Rescues worked properly. Maybe there'll be someone I can rescue back at the park. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, sign. <gasps> that could fall and hurt someone. Super scoop to the rescue. Be careful, scoop. Yeah. Ouch. Faster than a speeding tractor. Mom, oh, no! Oh, oh. Uh oh! Ow! Stay still, Scoop. We'll get you out from under there. Oh! A superhero is supposed to be strong and brave. They shouldn't need rescuing. I'm a super zero. A true hero doesn't need super strength or bravery, Scoop. A true hero thinks before they act. Thanks, Wendy. Here we are, the zoo. Penguins like the cold. Maybe you could live here with the penguins, Mr. Polar Bear. Oh, where are the penguins? Where's the water? Scoop, what are you doing here? Good gracious, isn't that Mayor Madison's ice sculpture? Yeah, I, I wondered whether Mr. Polar Bear could live here in your nice cold penguin pool. Actually, not all penguins live in cold climates, Scoop. Not the ones we have here. And anyway, all our penguins are indoors today while I clean their pool. But couldn't I leave Mr. Polar Bear here? I really think you should take him back. But if I take him back, he'll melt! I'll just have to find another cold place for him! Hang on, Mr. Polar Bear! I promise I'll find somewhere nice and cold! Hmm... Okay, let's try this way. Scoop, where are you? Uh, are you around here? Hmm. This way. Scoop. 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 Where are you? Hmm. Where are you? Look 
melt everywhere. We have to find Scoop before that ice sculpture melts. Wait, what's all this water here? <gasps> it must be from the melting bear. Follow that trail. Uh, which way? Uh, uh-oh. Oh, hi, Scoop! Nothing better than a nice, cool ice cream on a hot day. Ice cream? Oh, where did you get that? From Chef Taddy's milkshake bar. Huh? <gasps> yes! Stay with me, Mr Polar Bear. Chef Taddy will have a nice, cold place for you at his drive through One tatalicious tropical coconut typhoon with extra sprinkles. Thanks, Chef. Bye. See you later. Bye now. Chef Tati! Oh. Chef Tati! Please, could you look after my ice sculpture in your freezer? The one from Mayor Madison, is it? Of course! Oh, that's perfect! Hear that, Mr Polar Bear? You're safe at last! OK, uh, so where is it? I'll show you. <gasps> oh, no! He's gone! He's melted clean away! A bucket stand! But how are you going to get all the way up on your bucket? Well, to start with, I just need to lift my back end up a bit. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Uh... Oh. Maybe you just can't do a bucket stand, Scoop. No, maybe not. One more push-up bean to go. <sighs> Me too. Well done, Wendy. Now we need to mix up the cement. Don't tell me, Bob. The old-fashioned way. <laughs> you got it. It's no good, Dizzy. I'm not getting anywhere with my bucket stand. Hmm. When Safi does handstands, she usually does them against a tree, and she takes a run-up to it. That's it! You're a genius, Dizzy! Huh? I can do my bucket stand against a tree and do a great big driver! There's a tree! Um, Scoop! No! Hey! When I say... Don't worry, Dizzy! Hmm. This is it! Oh, I can't look! <sighs> Here comes Spring City's first ever bucket stand! What happened here, Scoop? Um, well, I was trying to do something I'd never done before. Well, you've definitely made a mess like this before. Uh, these parallel bars look a bit bent. A little bit more than bent. And we need those to finish the exercise trail. And it's all my fault. <gasps> I know! If I race to the yard and pick up some new bars, Maybe we can still finish on time. Well, you won't have long. Sky will be back soon. You have to be really fast, Scoop. That's it! If I can get to the yard and back that quickly, that really will be something I've never done before. Yes, all right. You can go fast. <gasps> but carefully, Scoop. Yes! Faster than I've ever been before! Faster than I've ever been before! OK, team. We've still got lots of parts that aren't bent. And the monkey bars are OK. But without Scoop, we'll have to do all the digging ourselves. Hmm. But dumping's what I usually do. I thought you'd make a nice, neat pile like mine. You should have said. Oh, yeah, silly me. Muck, can you make a nice, neat pile like mine, please? Yes, Shifter, I can. Awesome! Lofty and I have to go back to the yard, Dizzy. You need to stay here with Leo till we get back. That's okay, Bob. No problem. Just make sure he takes it slowly this time. Mm-hmm. That's more like it, Leo. Lofty and I are running out for a while, okay? Of course, Bob. See you later. You can do this, Leo. 
You just need to slow down. Get into a rhythm. I know, but how? I'm not very good at going slowly either. Uh, oh, I know. Have you got any music on your phone? Something with a rhythm that you can work in time to? Uh, slow. Slow. How about this? Wow, that is really slow. Perfect. Off you go. Ooh, this is wonderful. I think I'm getting the hang of this now, Shifter. Very neat and tidy. It's almost as good as mine. Oh, no. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> Oops. Awesome. Huh? My turn, my turn. He shoots, he scores. Yes. <laughs> yes, look at that. All completely level. What do you think, Dizzy? <gasps> oh, it's perfect, Leo! Bob's gonna be so proud of you! Thanks, Dizzy! Whee! Hello? <laughs> Hi, Bob! Hi, Leo. How's it going? Really well, thanks. Dizzy says the wall's perfect. Oh, great. I'll be back soon. Okay, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Mom! Huh? <laughs> and he scores again! My turn! My turn! <clears throat> <gasps> I see you haven't got very far with your assessment then, Mock. <gasps> Shifter, we're supposed to be cleaning up! battery pack. There you go, Bob. Thanks, Wendy. Wendy, is it okay if I put this down now? Oh, yes, sure thing. Thanks, Lofty. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Everything okay, Lofty? Tiny's not pushing you too hard, is he? Oh, no, I'm fine. Um, thank you, Bob. Great, because when we finish these, the next level is going to be much harder to put in place. Huh? Huh? I mean, <laughs> no problem. Great, thanks. Oh. There we go. The drainage system's nearly finished. Great! Looks like we're going to win. Although it's not a sport. Where should I put these last few pipes? Just somewhere safe, please. Um... Excuse me, Scoop. Oh, hi, Lofty. I'm looking for a safe place to put these pipes. Scoop! Maybe here is best. What was that? Uh, nothing, Scoop, but you're in my way. Oh, sorry. You should have said so. Ah, I know where they'll be safe. <sighs> Hi, Bob. This is the first one for the upper level. Okay, Lofty. You need to extend your boom as far as it will go. All right. Here we go. This place looks nice and safe. A little bit closer, Lofty. What's that noise? Not sure. Uh, an airplane? <laughs> okay, lower your winch now. Will do, Bob. Lofty, are you all right? Keep going, Lofty! 
Nearly there. Phew. Wow, 10 pallets in a minute. That's really fast. Well done, Lofty. How does your new claw feel? I love it. It was worth waiting for. Now I want to build something 10 times bigger. That's good, because today I need you to do just that. Really? What is it? The new Spring City Pyramid. Spring City what he made? Pyramid. Pyramids were huge stone buildings. They were built thousands of years ago. Whoa. Our pyramid is going to house a new exhibition for the museum. That will be awesome. Let's get started. Am I going to be building the pyramid on my own, Bob? No, Lofty. Tiny's helping build it, too. I love working with Tiny. He's great. Oh, it's already half built. I thought we were starting from the beginning. We couldn't wait for your new attachment to arrive, Lofty. I just thought I was going to build more of it. There's still lots to do. The mayor's coming to inspect the pyramid tonight, and Tiny can't finish it on his own. Hey, Lofty! You ready to help me with this thing, little guy? Oh, ready to go, Tiny! Nice claw! Yes, it's got twin hydraulic compaction for increased torque capacity. All right! Off we go, then. Hey, Bob. How's it going, Wendy? The exhibition chamber's built. Now we just have to install the fittings. <gasps> What's in those? Precious ancient artifacts for the exhibition. I need to get them sorted and safely inside the pyramid as soon as possible. No problem, Anish. Okay, team, this is a big job. Can we finish it? Yes, we can. <laughs> Be a pal and unload these stones. I need to rush back and collect another batch. But I'm building two ton. Go on. Give him a hand, Lofty. We're still on schedule. 